Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are a number of options available that allow you to customize the display options of Microsoft OneNote. For example, if you need more workspace and you want to minimize the ribbon, you can click the Minimize button at the far right end of the ribbon, which looks like an upward pointing arrow. The tabs and commands are still accessible by clicking on the tab names. However, once you complete a command, the ribbon collapses again, giving you more space to work. You can fully expand the ribbon by clicking the Ribbon Display Options button up in the title bar, and then clicking to choose either to show the tabs or show tabs and commands, whichever you prefer. Another way to maximize your workspace is by entering full page view by clicking the button of the same name in the upper right corner of the content pane in version 2013 or in the quick access toolbar in version 2010. Now remember that in full page view only the content window and the notebook drop down are visible. To switch back, just click the button again to toggle it off and switch back to normal view. You can customize the Quick Access Toolbar by clicking the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button and then choosing the More Commands option. So here's the Quick Access Toolbar, here's the drop down, give that a click, and then choose More Commands. Now this opens the OneNote Options window and at the right side of the window are two sets of command button listings. The listing at the far right of the panel, over here, is the set of button commands that are currently shown in the Quick Access Toolbar. The order in which the commands appear in this list from top to bottom is the order in which they will display from left to right in the Quick Access Toolbar. To the left of this panel is a listing of commands that you can add to the Quick Access Toolbar, over here. You can select which functions are shown in this list by first selecting a command grouping to display from the Choose Commands drop-down that's located just above it. For example, we could just choose the File tab. Now to add a command to the Quick Access Toolbar from the list, just click on the command that you wish to add from the choices available in the left list and then click the Add button in the middle here to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar list to the right. You can remove a command from the Quick Access Toolbar list at the right by clicking on it to select it first and then click the Remove button to remove it from the list. Also, you can change the order in which the buttons appear in the Quick Access Toolbar by selecting a command in the list, like our print that we added here, and then clicking either the up or down arrow buttons to the right of the list to move it. When you've finished customizing the content of the Quick Access Toolbar, just click the OK button in the lower right hand corner to save and apply your changes. Now you can also customize the ribbon to meet your own personal needs and taste. You can add any OneNote command so that it will appear in the ribbon. To customize the ribbon, first click the File tab to enter Backstage View. Then select Options from the list of commands on the left, and that will open the OneNote Options dialog box that we see here. Now click the Customize Ribbon command on the left, and then next use the Choose Commands From drop-down to select a category, just like we did with the Quick Access Toolbar. You can then select a group of tabs from the Customize the Ribbon drop-down to the right. You could choose the tool tabs, all tabs, main tabs, and so forth. You'll then see the tabs and groups appear in the column as a collapsed outline. You can click the plus signs to expand a tab 
and see the groups within it. Just like that. Now, when you add commands to a tab, they must appear within their own custom groups that you create on the tab. To do this, start by selecting the name of the tab within which you want to create your custom group. Then click the New Group button at the bottom of the column to add a new group to the selected tab. Now also note that you can create your own custom tab itself by clicking the New Tab button instead to the left if you prefer to add your commands to a custom tab versus a custom group. Once you have created a custom group, make sure it's selected in the column. Then select the name of the command to add to this custom group by selecting it from the Choose Commands From column. You can then click the Add button that appears between the columns to add the selected column to the selected custom group in the ribbon. Note that you can then select the custom group, custom tab, or command button that you have created, and then click the rename button if you so prefer down here in order to rename the custom group or custom tab using the rename dialog box. You can change the display name and you could choose a different symbol and click OK if you'd like to do that. Go ahead and click Cancel. Now, also note the Reset button at the bottom of this column next to the Customizations label right here. You can click this button to select either to reset only the selected ribbon tab or reset all customizations from the drop-down menu that appears. This will reset the currently selected ribbon tab or reset all customizations based on which command you choose. You can use this to reset unwanted customizations to the ribbon if they occur. Once you are done making all of your changes then, you can then click OK and that will save your changes. Now we are on the home tab here in the ribbon. You see here's our new group and here's the command that we added to that group. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.